fundamental quantities are important. Fundamental quantities. I think there is a fundamental unit. No, it's not. It's not unit. It's quantity. Fundamental quantity, man. All right. So I think Isaac is wrong. There must be six. You know what? This is a professor. He has a beard, so he must be a professor. Do you know how many fundamental quantities? Eight million, nine million, six million. Thank you, thank you, professor. Thank you, professor. But you know, I think we need we need a physics professor. You must not be a physics professor, although you have a beard. So we 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 need a physics professor. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. I told you, it's six. It's gotta be six. Gotta be six. Six. You know the number six. Six is magic. Six. A video for these idiots because they're wrong they're not six they're not eight they are, are seven so what are the seven si units well let's look at the first one length length is really just the distance between two points for example the length between one hand and my other hand is this much the unit to measure length is meters or approximately how much light travels in one third of a hundred billionth of a second which I know is complicated, but I guess that's the current definition. It's not very good, but stick with me here. But anyways, that's a meter. Now, what about the next one? The next SI unit is for mass, and that's called a kilogram. Kilogram is obviously used to measure weight or something. Uh, I guess it's used to measure how heavy something is. So kilograms is used to do exactly that. And for those of you who study chemistry but not physics, a uh, kilogram is actually just 1,000 grams. All right, so now what's the third one? Well, that would be tick tock time. So, time, well, time's unit would be seconds. And I'm sure you know it right now. I'm sure you know what a second is. So, time is just how uh, the measure of how long something takes. And, well, one second is the conventional unit for time. So, uh, I guess that's that. All right. Now, fourth, we will look at luminous intensity, which is basically just a fancy word for the brightness of an object. Luminous intensity is just the intensity of the light for the high school dropouts who watch Star Wars out there. All right. And now, let's look at hmm, the fifth one, which would be current and current is basically just how much electricity goes up out of a surface it's the rate at which electricity travels so the higher the amps which is the si unit for current the uh, faster the electricity goes uh, hopefully it won't electrocute you but well, probably it would electrocute the high school dropouts out there though but anyways an Ampere, or an amp for short, is what they use to measure current. So what could be the sixth one? Well, that would be a mole. No, no, not the ground digging animal. Those are basically just the high school dropouts. They're not the spies either. But this is to measure the atoms. So the amount of substance this weird looking substance is actually just a bunch of atoms. And so, what is a mole? Hmm? Well, a mole would be 6 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. I think that's avocado's number. But anyways, um, let's look at the final, final, final one. And I think that would be... Oh wait, did I even say the uh, SI unit for luminous intensity? Sorry if I didn't, but that would be candela. Alright, what is the final, 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 final thing? I feel a bit cold. Ah, <gasps> Temperature! Temperature is, well, how hot or cold something is, which is basically just a measure of how fast the particles are vibing in there. So, what does that mean? Well, a Kelvin is just like Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, or for those of you who measure in free number square eagle, Fahrenheit. Uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius are just like Kelvin, just that they have different magnitudes, different amounts of temperature. So those are the seven SI units. Open! Open!
open. Excuse me, why is he here? Who is here? Uh, the professor is here. Why is he here? He's gonna quiz us on the fundamental unit. So video. don't open the door. Oh, by the way, how many fundamental quantities? Uh, eight. Yes. How many fundamental quantities are there? Eight. Have you guys been living under a rock? I showed you the video one month ago that there were seven, seven, and you guys still don't know. We watch, we watch your watch video. Your video. Then watch it one hundred more. You get out of here. Get out. Get out. These two guys, they are losers. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight.